Glory, glory, man united. Glory, glory, man united. Glory, glory, man united. Something, something, something. Yeah. Glory, glory, man united. Glory, glory, man united. Come on. Okay. So now I'm calm. <laughs> Let's make the video. So, um, today was just like, if I tell you I did not expect Manchester United to win this game. I think a lot of us fans did not expect Manchester United to win this game. Shout out to my friend. He knows himself. He told me Manchester United would win, would win this game. I was like, there is no way we're winning this game. He was like, Priscilla, we're winning this game. I'm like, nah. But anyway, yeah. So you called it, my dear friend. Yeah. So guys, uh, I am just like, I am overwhelmed with joy at how we've played today. We've played amazing football. I think one of the things, I think I'm just going to like talk about the few pointers I learned from this game. So, I'll start from the defense. In fact, I'll start from the goalkeeper. The hair today, amazing. Guys, the hair was coming out of his box. He was sweeping, like, congrats, the hair. Um, something else I also want uh, when we go to the defense um, the defense for Manchester United today I think played well Martinez 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 is aggressive guys we need an aggressive it's not that he doesn't have the physicality and the height but he's a, an aggressive defender I was impressed by him him and Veran amazing partnership like they both understand and know what it means to be defenders okay they are both defenders positional wise Martinez was all over everyone when they had the ball like he was amazing Varan, he was with the headers pre like pressing um just making his presence known when Firmino or or Salah had the had the ball like he was there to show like okay I'm here even if you have the ball Malaysia I feel like personally Malaysia held himself down very well against Mo Salah this is a player that we're looking at that hasn't played against Mo Salah Maybe they have, but I, I don't, I'm not sure, but he held himself down. I think Malaysia today should be among the men of the matches for me. He played well. He was everywhere. He was, de his defense today was amazing. Like that guy, guys. Okay, Malaysia impressed me. Like he's an amazing left back. Um, Diego Dalot was okay. I think he held himself well. I was impressed with Dalot. He managed to track back. He managed to go forward. Him and Veran, that right back partnership was amazing. We go to the midfield. Scotty, 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 Scotty. That's all you need to do. Just break up play. Like Scott McDermott only has to break up play. Ericsson and Bruno were the thinking. I think they were both playing eights, but I feel like Ericsson was in a deeper role. Um, Bruno was a bit higher, but Bruno kept on coming back. I feel like Ericsson was also helping. I I, I like the fact that Ten Hag noticed the, like last week, um, he put Ericsson in so much of a deeper role that he was failing to go forward and come back. This week, however, Ericsson was going forward, but him and Bruno were kind of switching. Like, Bruno was also coming deep. Ericsson goes forward. So that understanding was amazing. And the dynamic was good to see. Bruno today, he was the captain. He was all over the place. You know, Bruno moans here and there. Falls here and there, even when he's not there. But I think he led the team well. I think he was a warrior. I think he fought well. If anyone says anything bad against Bruno today, like, I'm going to fight. Okay, I think Bruno played amazing well, amazingly well. Him and Ericsson, their midfield dynamic was good and miss scott mctominay holding the line i think mctominay was amazing today he was very disciplined in what he was supposed to do i think they told him scotty you are the cdm stay there let ericsson and let bruno go forward and i think today scott listened like he just stayed where he was supposed to be that was amazing when we go forward um what am i going to talk about oh yeah Rashi Sancho Elanga. Now, I feel like Elanga was good when he was bringing up the pace against Trent Alexander Arnold. I feel like the kid is okay, but he needs to learn how to look up. He's still not yet fully ready. It's just that we don't have any players. But imagine, guys, if we had, if we, uh, if we add Anthony to that front line, if we get Anthony from Ajax, guys, we have Anthony, Michelle, Sancho, and Rashi in that front line will be unstoppable. 
let me calm down so yeah rashi played well it was good to see that rashford that we all missed we know rashi can be aggressive he can run at players i feel like this will tr like it will give him the confidence that he's been lacking rashi is a good player he can run at players but i feel like he's been lacking in that area but yes he was amazing my bay sancho amazing all the time one thing i love about Jaden sancho is he's so composed like sancho doesn't panic he's composed he knows when to pass the ball he knows when to dribble the ball amazing 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 erin ten Hag got his taxes well today i think he's learning the football in the premier league right now and i think he learned from the brentford game what to do i think he did things differently but i mean and manchester united altogether played amazing i'm watching ajax uh the time ten Hag was there obviously to understand their tactics and one thing I got to see today was Manchester United was playing like the way Ajax play. In that they see each other as players. They pass the ball. Able to see each other. They were able to pass the ball to one another. So that was so good to see. I think we played well. On the other hand, I think Liverpool were not full strength. I don't think Liverpool played well. Trent Alexander-Arnold is Liverpool's link. Weakest link. And people don't want to accept that. I know people go like he's one of the best right backs. Yes, my dogs are barking. Forgive me for that noise. But yes, people say... Trent is the best right back. No, Trent is good going forward, but he's very poor defending. How many goals has Liverpool considered from the right side? So many goals. Robertson is better than Trent on that side. And Liverpool really needs to, um, what can I say? They really need to find an answer to that right side. I feel like, what's that guy's name? The one who plays along. I don't know if it's Kunde or Konate. I always forget his name. He was injured today, but when he's playing, he manages to cover up for Trent's deficiencies. But today... Trent's deficiencies were not covered up, and that's why the goals kept on coming from Trent's side. If you're playing against Liverpool, attack Trent Alexander-Arnold. I feel like Liverpool lost the game at the midfield today. I feel like the midfield wasn't good. There was no Thiago Alcantara. Henderson was there, but there was no creativity. Um, Milner is not a creative player. I just think they were lacking in the midfield area. They lost that battle altogether. The front line more wasn't there so much. But for Firmino, I think he was coming back from injury. Diaz... Diaz is good, but he's not a man. Okay, I remember in my previous videos, if you go back and watch, I've always said this. When it comes to choosing between more Salah and money, I will always prefer money to Salah because I just think money is more versatile and is more of a danger as opposed to Salah. So yeah, um, those are my thoughts on the game. I am hyped right now. I'm going back to watch the highlights and just listen to more soccer analysis and just listen to what everyone is saying twitter youtube facebook so yeah so thank you so much guys for watching make sure you share like and subscribe bye glory glory man united